Hello there and what's going on everyone and welcome back to part 12 of the Minecraft Pixel tutorial build on Tanjiro water breathing design and in today's part once again same blocks as per usual we're going to be using our black concrete and gold block and for today's area that we're going to be flying to we're going to fly all the way back over to the left towards this area over here and as you can see we should have this one black concrete sticking up to the left all the way on the left hand side over here as you can see. So the very furthest one sticking out to the left, which is this one right here. This is the area that we're going to be going off. And we'll just place a gold block in front of it, just in case anyone is confused. That is the area that we're going to be going off right there, as you can see right there. So without further ado, let's fly over towards that one sticking out to the left. And there we go. So then, once you have flown over towards this one sticking out to the left right here, starting off with our black concrete, we're now going to do one up left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one up left diagonal right here, we're now going to place one black concrete going up from here. And there we go. Once you place this one black concrete on top, we're then going to do another one up left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one up left diagonal right here, we're then going to place five going to the left from here. So one, two, three four and five just like so once you place this five going to the left we're then going to do two bottom left diagonals from here so one and two just like so and what's in the second bottom left diagonal we're then going to place one going to the left from here and there we go once you place this one going to the left right here we're then going to place one black concrete going underneath from here and there we go once you place this one going underneath, we're then going to fly back up by one, so back up to this up left corner, and we're then going to place one black concrete going to the left from here, and there we go. Once you place this one going to the left, we're just going to zoom out quickly, and we're going to fly back to the one that we just placed underneath. So back to this one right here, and once you've flown back to the one black concrete sticking underneath right here, we're then going to place another one black concrete going underneath from here, and there we go. And as you can see, we should have two sticking underneath in total so far. Once we've done this, we're then going to do one bottom left diagonal from the end of here. And there we go. And as you can see, we should be looking like that. Once you've done that one bottom left diagonal, we're then done with this area. So we're just going to fly back up a bit. And we're going to fly back up to the one black concrete we placed going to the left right here. So back to that point right there. And there we go. Once you have flown back to this point right here, we're now going to do one bottom left diagonal from this point right here. And there we go. Once you've done this one bottom left diagonal right here, we're now going to place two black concrete going to the left from here. So, one and two, just like so. And there we go. Once you place this two black concrete going to the left, we're then going to do one up left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one up left diagonal right here, we're now going to place two black concrete going to the left again. So we're going to place another two going to the left. So one and two, just like so. And there we go. Once you place this two black concrete going to the left right here, which makes it three in total as you can see, we're now going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one bottom left diagonal right here, we're now going to place three black concrete going underneath this time. So, one, two, and three. Just like so, and there we go. As you can see, we should have four in total right there. Once we've done this, we're now going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one bottom left diagonal, we're now going to place one black concrete going underneath from here. And there we go. Once you place this one going underneath right here, we're then going to do another one bottom left diagonal from here, just like so. And then once you've done this, we're then going to place another one black concrete going underneath from here. And there we go. Once you place this one underneath right here, we're now going to do another one bottom left diagonal from here. There we go. And then once you've done this bottom left diagonal right here, we've got quite a few to place underneath, and we're going to have to place 
15 going underneath from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, just like so. And there we go. Once you place this 15 black concrete going underneath right here, we're then going to do one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. And once you do this one bottom right diagonal right here, we're now going to place four going underneath from here. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And there we go. One, two places four going underneath right here. We're now going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you do this one bottom right diagonal right here, we're now going to place one going underneath from here. And there you go. Once you place this one going underneath right here, we're then going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here. Just like so. And then once you do this one bottom right diagonal right here, we're now going to place another one going underneath. And there we go. Once we place this one going underneath right here, we're now going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here. Just like so. And then once you do this one bottom right diagonal right here, this time we're now going to place three going underneath from here. So one, two, and three, just like so. Once he places three going underneath right here, we're then going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. And then once he does this other bottom right diagonal right here, we're then going to place six black concrete going underneath from here. So one, two, three, four. Five and six, just like so. Once you place this six going underneath right here, we're then going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you done one bottom left diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete going to the left from here. Just like so. And then once you place this one going to the left, we're then going to do another one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one bottom left diagonal right here, we're then going to place two black concrete going to the left. So one and two, just like so. And then once he places two going to the left, we're then going to place one going up from here. And there we go. Once he places one on top right here, just like so, as you can see, we're now going to do one of right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one up right diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete on top of the one up right diagonal, just like so. And then once he places one on top, we're then going to place four going to the left from here. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And there we go. Once he places four going to the left, we're then going to do two bottom left diagonals from here. So one and two, just like so. Once you've done the second bottom left diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete going underneath from here, just like so. Once you places one going underneath, we're then going to place one going to the left, and there we go. Once you places one going to the left, we're now going to fly back into the right by one. So back to this bottom right corner right here, as you can see, and we're then just going to do one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go, and as you can see, we should be looking like this right here. Once we've done this one bottom right diagonal, we're now done with that little point. So we're actually going to zoom out, fly back to the left a bit, and we're going to fly back to the one black concrete sticking out to the left right here, as you can see. And once we've flown back to here, we're now going to place another one black concrete going to the left from here. And there we go. And as you can see, we've got two sticking up to the left in total so far. And once we've done this, we're now going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one bottom left diagonal right here, we're now going to place one black concrete going underneath from here. Just like so. And then once you place this one going underneath, we're then going to do another one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one bottom left diagonal right here, we're then going to place three black concrete going underneath this time. So one, two, and three, just like so. And then once he places three black concrete going underneath, we're now going to do one bottom right diagonal from here. 
And there we go. Once you've done this one bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place one going to the right from here, just like so. And then once you place this one going to the right, we're then going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this another bottom right diagonal right here, we're then going to place another one going to the right from here, just like so. And then once we place this one going to the right, we're then going to place one going underneath from here. And there we go. Once you place this one going underneath, we're then going to fly back up by one, so back up to this right corner, and we're then going to do four right diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. Once you've done this fourth right diagonal right here, we're then going to place three black concrete going to the right. So one, two, and three, just like so. Once you place this three going to the right, we're then going to do one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. And once you know this one bottom right diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete going to the right from here. Just like so. And then once you place this one going to the right, we're just going to zoom out for a second, just a bit out. And essentially we're going to do another two areas of this two sticking out right here. So this one we just placed going to the right. We're going to do two areas coming off here. And the two areas that we're going to do, we're going to do an up right diagonal from here. And we're also going to do a bottom right diagonal from the end of this two as well. Do an up right diagonal first. And zoom out. Fly back towards the end of the two. And do a bottom right diagonal as well. And there we go. And as you can see, we should be looking like that right there. And if we just zoom out fully as well to just have a closer look at everything we've done so far for today. Which obviously we've still got a lot more to do. But as you can see, that's what we should have done so far, and that's what we should be looking like. So then, once you've had a good look at everything, we're now going to fly back to those two areas that we just marked out. So, flying all the way back to the upper right diagonal and the bottom right diagonal. And once we have flown back towards this area right here, for the area that we're going to continue off, we're going to continue off the upper right diagonal. So, we're going to continue off this area right here, as you can see. And we're actually going to be doing the rest of the bottom section of the sword. So the very bottom one, we've already done the middle one. And then all we got left after the bottom one will be the top one. Obviously though, that will be quite a while because we've got to get all around first before we get to that top part. Anyway though, starting off from this up right diagonal right here. Once you have flown over towards this area right here. We're now going to place one black concrete going up from here. And there we go. Once you place this one on top right here. We're now going to place one going to the right, just like so. Once you place this one going to the right, we're now going to fly back into the left by one. Go back to this up left corner right here, as you can see. And we're now going to place one black concrete going to the left from here. And there we go. Once you place this one going to the left right here, we're now going to place one on top of here, just like so. And then once you place this one on top, we're then going to do... 17 of right diagonals from here, which is quite a bit as you can see. So let's start off with our first one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, and 17. And there we go. Well, once you've done your 17 for right diagonal right here, as you can see, we're now going to place one going to the right from here. And there we go. Once you place this one going to the right, we're now going to place one black concrete on top, just like so. Once you place one on top, we're now going to place one going to the right. Once you place one going to the right, we're now going to fly back into the left by one, so back to this left corner right here. And we're then going to place six black concrete going to the left from this point right here. So we're going to place six going to the left from this point right here. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like so. Once you place this six black concrete going to the left right here, we're then going to place two going underneath from here. So, one and two, just like so. And then once you place this two black concrete going underneath right here, we're then going to fly it all the way back up to the top. So, one, two, three, all the way back up to this left corner right here, as you can see. 
So back basically kind of in line and once you've flown back to this up left corner right here we're then just going to do one up left diagonal from here and there we go. So then once you've done this one up left diagonal right here we're then going to place five black concrete going up from here. So one, two, three, four and five just like so. Once you place this five going up right here we're then going to place one black concrete going to the right from here. Just like so. Once you place this one going to the right, we're now going to fly back into the left by one. So back to this up left corner right here. And we're then going to do two up left diagonals from here. So one and two, just like so. Once you've done the second up left diagonal, we're now going to zoom out, fly back to the right a bit. And we just want to fly back to the one black concrete we just placed going to the right. So back to this point right here. Once you've flown back to this point right here, we're then going to do one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once then there's one bottom right diagonal right here, we're then going to place one going to the right from here. And there we go. As you can see, we should be looking like that right there. Once you place this one going to the right right here, we're now going to do one up right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done one up right diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete on top of here. And there you go. Once you place this one black concrete on top, we're then going to do another one up right diagonal from here. Just like so. And then once you've done this one up right diagonal right here, we're now going to place six black concrete going up from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like so. And there we go. Once you place this six black concrete going up right here, we're now going to do one up left diagonal from here, just like so. And then once you've done this one up left diagonal right here, we're now going to place one black concrete going up from here. And there we go. Once you place this one black concrete on top, we're now going to do another one up left diagonal from here, just like so. And then once you've done this one up left diagonal right here, we're now going to place another one black concrete on top of here. And there you go. Once he places one on top right here, we're now going to do another one up left diagonal from here. Just like so. And then once you do this one up left diagonal right here, this time we're now going to place one black concrete going to the left from here. And there you go. Once he places one going to the left, we're now going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. Just like so. And once you do this one bottom left diagonal, we're now going to place one black concrete going underneath. And there you go. Once you place this one going underneath right here. We're then going to zoom out for a second. And we're just going to do two areas of this one that we placed going underneath right here. And for the two areas that we're going to do. We're going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. And we're also going to do one bottom right diagonal from here as well. So starting off let's do a bottom left diagonal first. And then zoom out. Fly back to the end of the two. And then do a bottom right diagonal from here as well. And there we go. And as you can see, we should be looking like that right there. We should have a bottom left diagonal from the end of this two. And a bottom right diagonal, as you can see right there. Once we've marked out these two areas for the area that we're going to go off first. We go to the bottom left diagonal first. So to this one right here. And once you've flown to the bottom left diagonal. We're just literally going to place one black concrete going underneath from here. And there we go. Once you place this one going underneath right here, we're already done with that area. So we can zoom out and now fly over to the bottom right diagonal now. So then, once we have now flown over towards the bottom right diagonal right here, we're now going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. So then, once you've done this one bottom right diagonal right here, we're now going to place one black concrete going underneath from here. And there we go. Once he places one black concrete going underneath right here, we're then going to place one going to the left, just like so. And once he places one going to the left, we're now going to fly back into the right by one. So back to this bottom right corner right here. And once you've flown back towards the bottom right corner, we're now going to place two black concrete going underneath from here. So one and two, just like so. Once he places two black concrete going underneath right here, we're then going to do one bottom left diagonal from here, just like so. And then once you've done this one bottom left diagonal right here, we're now going to do one up left diagonal from here. 
And there we go. Once you've done this one up left diagonal right here, we're actually now done with all of this area right here. So we just want to zoom out for a second. And as you can see, we should be looking like that so far. Once we've done this, for our next area that we're going to fly back to, we're just going to fly underneath a bit. And we want to fly over towards these two up left diagonals that we did right here. And we're going to be flying to the second up left diagonal that we did right here, as you can see. So that's where we're going to be flying back to. I'll just place this gold block in front of it, just in case anyone is confused. That is the area we're flying back to. So then, once you've flown back towards this second up left diagonal right here, we're now going to place another three black concrete going up from here. So, one, two, and three. Just like so, as you can see right there. Once we place this three on top right here, we're now going to do one up left diagonal from here, just like so. And once you've done this one up left diagonal right here, we're now going to place one black concrete on top. And there we go. Once you place this one on top, we're now going to do another one up left diagonal from here, just like so. And then once you've done this one up left diagonal right here, we're then going to place three black concrete going up from here. So one, two, and three, just like so. Once you place this three black concrete on top right here, we're then going to zoom out for a second. And once again, we're just going to do two areas of this three that we just place on top. So, we're going to do one up left diagonal from the end of this three that we place on top, which by the way, it is four in total. And we're going to do one up left diagonal from the end of here, and we're also going to do one up right diagonal from the end of here as well. So, let's do an up left diagonal from the end of this four in total. And then zoom out, fly back to the very end, and then do an up right diagonal from the end of here as well. And there we go. And as you can see, we should be looking like this right here in all of our builds. Once you've done this right here for the area that we will start off with, with the up left diagonal and the up right diagonal, we're going to fly to the up right diagonal first, as once again, it's just going to be another nice short area. So then, once you have flown towards the one up right diagonal right here, we're now going to place one black concrete on top of here, just like so. And once you place this one black concrete on top, we're now just going to do one up right diagonal from here. And there you go. Once you've done that one up right diagonal right there, we're now literally done with this area, so we can zoom out, fly back to the left, and fly back to the one up left diagonal right here, as you can see. So then, once you've flown back towards the one left diagonal right here, we're now going to place one black concrete going to the left from here, just like so. And then once you place this one black concrete going to the left, we're now going to do three up left diagonals from here. So, one, two, and three, just like so. And once you've done this third up left diagonal right here, we're now going to place Two black concrete going to the left from here. So one and two, just like so. Once you place this two going to the left, we're then going to place one on top, just like so. And then once you place this one on top, we're then going to fly underneath by one, so back down to the bottom left corner. And we're then going to place one black concrete going to the left from here. And there we go. Once you place this one going to the left, we're now going to fly back into the right by one, so back to the centerpiece right here. And then once you fly back to the centerpiece, we're now just going to place one black concrete going underneath here for now as well. And there we go. And once he places one black concrete going underneath right here, we're now going to zoom out for a second and we're going to fly back to one of these areas. Now the one on top, this one's actually done, so we don't need to fly back to this area. So we're just going to fly back to the one black concrete sticking out to the left right here as you can see. And once you've flown to this point right here, we're now just going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. And once you've done this one bottom left diagonal, we're then just going to place one black concrete going underneath. And there we go. Once you've done that, we're then done with that little part right there. So we're going to zoom out. And now we're going to fly back to the one black concrete we just placed going underneath. Kind of in that plus area. So back to this point right here as you can see. Once you have flown back to this one black concrete sticking underneath right here. We're now just going to place another seven black concrete going underneath from here. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just like so. Once you place this seven black concrete going in there for right here, we're now going to do one bottom right diagonal from here, just like so. And once you do this one bottom right diagonal, we're now going to place two black concrete going in there from here, 
So one and two, just like so. Once he places two black concrete underneath, we're now going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here, just like so. And once he does one bottom right diagonal, this time we're now going to place three going underneath. So one, two, and three, just like so. And then once he places three going underneath, we're now going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here, just like so. And then once he does one bottom right diagonal right here, this time, we're now going to place two going underneath. So, one and two. And there we go. Once he places two going underneath right here, we're now going to do another one bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once he does one bottom right diagonal right here, this time, we're now going to place one going underneath, just like so. And then once he places one going underneath right here, we're now going to do two bottom right diagonals. So, one and two. Just like so, and once in the second bottom right diagonal, we're now going to place one black concrete going underneath. And there you go. Once he places one going underneath right here, we're now going to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two, just like so. And then once in the second bottom right diagonal, we're now going to place two going to the right from here. So one and two, just like so. And there you go. Once he places two going to the right, we're then going to do one upright diagonal from here, just like so. And as you can see, that one upright diagonal did right there, should connect an upright diagonal direction to the two sticking underneath right here. And if it does, that means we've done everything correctly so far. And as you can see, we should be looking like this so far in our build. So then, once you've had a good look at everything for our next area for today that we're going to fly over to, we're just going to fly all the way over to the right a bit. And as you can see, continuing on with the sword, we're just going to fly back to the one black concrete that's sticking up to the right, right here. So flying all the way back to this point right here. And there we go. So then, once you have flown back to the one black concrete sticking up to the right, right here, we're now going to place another one black concrete going to the right from here, just like so. And then once you place the one going to the right, right here, we're now going to place one on top, just like so. Once you place one on top, we're now going to place one going to the right, and there we go. And then once he places one going to the right, we're now going to place one on top of here. And then once he places one on top, we're now going to fly underneath by one, so back down to the bottom right corner. And we're now going to place one black concrete going to the right from here as well. And there we go. And as you can see, we should be looking like that right down that little small area that we just did. And once you've done all of this, for our area that we're going to fly back to, we just want to fly back to the one black concrete we place on top. So back to this one right here as you can see. So then, once you are flown back to this one black concrete sticking up right here, we're now going to do two upright diagonals from here. So one and two, just like so. Once you've done the second upright diagonal, we're now going to place one black concrete on top, just like so. And then once he places one on top, we're then going to do another one up right diagonal from here. And there you go. Once you've done this one up right diagonal right here, we're then going to place three black concrete going up from here. So one, two, and three, just like so. And then once you place this three on top right here, we're then going to place one going to the left, just like so. And then once you place this one going to the left, we're then going to fly back into the right by one. So back to this up right corner right here. And we're then going to place one black concrete on top of here. And there you go. Once he places one black concrete on top right here, we're now going to zoom out. And we're going to fly back to the one black concrete we just placed going to the left. So back to this point right here. And once you've flown back to the one black concrete, you place just going to the left right here. We're now going to do three bottom left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three just like so once you've done this third bottom left diagonal we're now going to place one black concrete going to the left from here just like so once you place one going to the left we're now going to place two going up from here so one and two just like so and once he places two on top we're now going to do one up right diagonal from here and there we go once you've done this one up right diagonal we're now going to place one on top of here just like so and then once he places one on top we're then going to do another one up right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once he done his one up right diagonal right here, 
We're now going to place four on top of here. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And once he places four on top right here, we're then going to do one up left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once he does one up left diagonal right here, we're then going to do two up right diagonals. So one and two, just like so. And once he's done the second up right diagonal, we're then going to place one black concrete on top, just like so. Once he places one black concrete on top right here, we're then going to do four left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And then once he's done this fourth up left diagonal right here, we're then going to place one black concrete going to the left from here. And there we go. Once he places one going to the left, we're then going to do one up left diagonal from here, just like so. Once he's done this, we're then going to place another one going to the left from here. And there we go. Once he places one going to the left right here, this time we're now going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once he does one bottom left diagonal, we're then going to place one black concrete going to the left from here. Just like so as you can see. And once he places one going to the left, we're then going to do another one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. And then once he does one bottom left diagonal right here, we're then just going to place one black concrete going to the left from here. And there we go. We're now done with this area right here. And if you literally just take out your gold block and do one bottom left diagonal from the end of this two. As you can see it should connect in a bottom left diagonal direction to this other one up right diagonal here with the black concrete. Which makes it kind of look like two bottom left diagonals connecting to both of these areas. And if it does connect to here with your gold block that does mean you've done everything correctly so far. So we can destroy that gold block now as that is meant to be a gap there. And once we've done this we're now going to zoom out. Fly all the way back over to the right. And we want to fly back to the one black concrete that is sticking up right there as you can see. So flying back up to this area here. So again as you can see I just placed a gold block on top of it or in front of it. Just so you can see that is the area that we are going to be flying back to. Which is the one that we just marked off going up where we just did this area to the left. And we're just going to be flying back to the one that we marked on top. So flying back over towards here. And there we go. Once you have flown over towards the one black concrete sticking up right here, we're now going to place another one black concrete on top of here, just like so. So, once you have placed this one black concrete on top right here, as you can see we should have two sticking up in total right there. And once we've done this, we're now just going to do one up right diagonal from here. And there we go. So, once you've done this one up right diagonal right here, we're now just going to place four black concrete going up from here. So, one two three and four just like so and once he places four on top we're now going to place one black concrete going to the right just like so and then once he places one going to the right we're now going to fly back into the left by one so back to this up left corner and once you're flying back to this point right here we're then just going to do one up left diagonal from here and once you then is one up left diagonal we're now going to place one black concrete on top and as you can see that one you place on top should connect underneath to this one sticking out to the left right here. And if it does. That means we've done everything correctly so far. As you can see right here. And once we've done all of this. We now just want to fly all the way back underneath. To the one black concrete sticking out to the right right here. And again. For the one that we're flying to sticking out to the right. It's the one that's going to be connecting over to here with the sword piece. And not the one that we just marked out right there because that area actually is done. That's just part of the design sticking out. So we want to be flying to this one sticking out to the right, right here as you can see. So flying over towards here. And there we go. So then, once you have flown over towards the one black concrete sticking out to the right, right here. We're now going to do two upright diagonals from here. So one and two, just like so. Once we've done this, we're now going to place one black concrete going to the right from here. And there we go. Once you place this one going to the right, we're now going to do another two upright diagonals from here. So one and two, just like so. And once we've done this, we're now going to place another one black concrete going to the right from here. And there we go. Once we place this one going to the right, we're now going to do another two upright diagonals from here. So one and two. Just like so. 
But this time, we're now going to place one black concrete on top of the second right diagonal. And there we go. Once we've done this, we're now going to place one black concrete going to the right from here. And there we go. Once we place that one to the right, we're now going to flow back into the left by one. So back to this up left corner right here. Once we've flown back to here, we're now going to place three black concrete going to the left. So one, two, and three. And there you go. Once you place this three black concrete going to the left, we're now going to do one bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one bottom left diagonal right here, we're now going to zoom out. Fly back to the right, fly back to the one black concrete just placed going to the right. And once you've flown back to the one black concrete you placed going to the right, we're now going to place another one going to the right from here. And there you go. Once you place one going to the right right here, we're now going to do one up right diagonal from here. Just like so. Once we've done this, we're now going to place one black concrete going to the right. And there we go. Once you've done this, we're now going to do another one up right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done this one up right diagonal, we're now going to place another one black concrete going to the right. Just like so. And once you place this one going to the right, we're now going to do two up right diagonals from here. So one and two. And once you've done a second up right diagonal, now we just want to place one black concrete going to the right. And as you can see, that one you place going to the right. Should connect in an upright diagonal direction to the one bottom left diagonal from this two right here. And if it does, that means we've done everything correctly so far for today. And as you can see, that's one of the top parts of the sword. And as you can see, it comes to the end right here because that's where it's going to kind of go straight down to the uh, pointy bladey side. You know, the tip of the end of the sword, whatever you want to call it. And, and then for the next part, we should be finishing off the bottom half of the blade because we'll be... Continue on going to this section here and that section there which should be both for the sword as well to finish it off And the way that that's going to be everything there for today as this was quite a long part And without further ado I shall see you in the next tutorial for Tanjiro or in the next build in general Because I should be having some more builds coming out soon I do need to finish the Thousand Sunny And obviously I've got some many other builds stored up ready to be released Anyway with that being said that is everything from me so without further ado, once again, if you have enjoyed this build, make sure to go and hit that like button if you haven't hit that already because it would be much appreciated. And also make sure to go and subscribe to see more awesome builds just like this build behind me and in front of me. And it'd be, again, helps out a lot. And with all of that being said, I will see you in the next video. So peace out, enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye.